Hello, welcome back to part three of build a discount calculator. In this part, we're going to be determining the logic to apply the right discount amount or the right discount percentage. This part is a little tricky, so I'll try and take it slower. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to be doing is creating three different discount types, the full discount, the partial discount, and the no discount. Each will be based on a different amount of annual revenue. So what we're going to be doing first is making a decision. So we're going to grab over here from the logic side, we're going to grab decision. And the label is going to be determine discount. Right, and under outcomes, we are going to, the first one we're going to do is full discount when the conditions are met. So this one will be account where revenue equals, or, or actually we're going to change it from equals, it's going to be greater than two, I believe it's 200 million. But we're just going to copy this because it will throw an error if you don't get the right amount. There's 200 million, excuse me. Um, all right, now we've done that one. We're going to go to the partial discount next. So this is going to be partial discount when conditions are met. So again, we're going to grab that account revenue because that's where we're basing this decision on and it is going to be greater than or equal to 100 million because if it's in between 100 million and 200 million and that's where we're going to give that partial discount okay next one so because this is in between two we need two different pieces of logic we're going to have a greater than or equal to and a less than or equal to. So account revenue is less than or equal to 200 million. So let's go ahead and grab this from the instructions just so then we get it right. And then now that we've done our full discount, our partial discount, we're going to do our default outcome. Now let's see, this one we're going to call no discount and because it kind of just it's going to be our default we're not going to add any logic to it so let's go ahead and click done and now here's the fun part we get to connect all the nodes there we go all right so now the next one we're going to go is assignment. We're going to create three different assignments, one for each of these discount types. First one we're going to do is full discount. Hmm. Actually, instead of full discount, oops, we're going to call it discount is 10%. And I believe the API name for this will be discount underscore is 10. Um, for variable, ooh, we get to create a new variable. So let's go ahead, do that. We already know in part two that we created three new variables. So this is just the same thing. And if you haven't gone back, go ahead and watch that video. So this is going to be discount. From the instructions, we're going to grab the description just so then we get it right. And the data type will be number. And we're going to leave this as two and we're going to leave available for input and available for output unchecked. I'm going to click done and grab that new variable as a discount. 
then we're going to add it as 10. So it's just converting it from a percentage to making sure that it's a number that we can see and use. Click done. And then we're going to drag the node to 10%. And yes, this one is going to be the full discount. Let's go ahead and drag that down a little more so we can see. And we're going to do the same thing for the other ones. So we're going to go to discount is 5% is what our partial discount is going to be. So let's go ahead and grab discount from the variable and equal to 5. Click done and drag the node. We're going to keep as under outcome, we're going to keep it as partial discount. Click done. Now I think we can understand what the next one is. It's just going to be the no discount or discount is equal to zero. Or is zero percent is what we're going to call it under the label. And grab discount and add zero. Now we're going to drag the node down. And as you can see, it goes and it shows you, it shows full discount option, the partial discount option, and the no discount. So let's save, it's probably gonna throw another error. Oh, no error. So, now let's go ahead and go and validate that we've done all these steps and click verify. All right, thank you for joining me for part three of Build a Discount Calculator. This one was actually a little bit tricky for me when I tried it for the first time, so don't get discouraged if you can't get it. Be sure to join me for...